Whose report are you going to believe? I will believe the report of the Lord. As children, we were taught to conform to the norms of the society of our day. There was Santa Claus, the Tooth Fairy, and a good dose of television programming. So here we are today, raised in a society of myth, fables, science, and religion. After a daily injection of news and a high concentration of media, we must sift through these things to find out what's real and what's fake. Truth can be a very bitter pill to swallow, but we need truth in order to make some of the life-changing decisions that come before us. Everyone has an opinion, and they're ready to tell you what you should or should not do. But when it comes to your health and well-being, you need professionals. Professionals normally have knowledge, science, and experience backing them up. Scientists choose not to believe that which is beyond their understanding. That's the spiritual realm. The spirit and soul is an integral part of what makes us human. Why grope in the dark to understand things when the light of the gospel is at your fingertips? Whose report will you believe? And last but not least, there's faith. The substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith is not to be confused with mind over matter. We're asking the God of our salvation through prayer to meet our need. We're talking about putting our trust in He who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we would think or ask according to the power that works in us. He who calls those things that be not as though they were. Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. So what do you do with the historical declarations in the Bible? Immaculate conception, miracles, resurrections, these things are illogical and impossible. And then you have the woman with the issue of blood. The doctors of her day had given up on her. But that which is impossible with man is possible with God. But ask yourself, Whose report are you going to believe? Imagine you're stuck in a traffic jam. The person in your car in the back seat says, We're going to be here forever. I drive this every day. You turn your radio on and the person says, This traffic will clear up in five minutes, according to the traffic helicopter. So again, whose report are you going to believe? Much like the helicopter, God sees the big picture. God says, As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Next time you find yourself at that fork in the road asking yourself, what are you going to do, or whose report are you going to believe? Although what the professionals tell you may be a fact, it's not altogether true, because God has the last word. Pray according to God's word. If he said it, he will do it. If he spoke it, he will bring it to pass. For God watches over his word to perform it. Your part in this process is to believe God without doubting. The man who thinks he can and the man who thinks he can't are both right. That's why we must declare the word of God. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Your faith to succeed must be greater than your fear of failure. Once God has delivered you, share it with others. Some people may not believe you. A man with an experience is never at the mercy of a man with an argument. As for me and my house, we will believe the report of the Lord.